So this is the Allen Brain Atlas. Um, we're going to do the human brain for this whole thing. Um, so the thing you want to use is the ISH data. So that's this link here. So we click on ISH data, and it's going to take us to what's called in situ hybridization. Basically, it's a way of marking genes. Um, one of the questions is to look up kind of like what is an in situ hybridization. So we'll look that up more later. But basically, what we're going to do now is search for different things. Um, you just need to search for one. I want you to just find something that seems interesting. But you can go to gene search if you want, just a basic gene search. And then you'd pick gene category. You pick any number one of these things right here. So we have calcium channels, we have depression, we have epilepsy. So these are all genes that have been tied to any one of these numbers of things, like diseases or just things that are normal, like ion channel activity, uh, neurodegenerative markers, microencephaly, MAP, KKA, cascade, all of these different things you can pick from one of them. Um, or you can go to neurotransmitter study, and this will talk to you about picking different neurotransmitters. So you pick gene categories over here on the right, and you can see you have like 12 different neurotransmitters that you can pick from. Um, and you can pick what type of cell you want them marked in. Are they astrocytes, are they glia, interneurons, cortical layers? Um, and which gene family do they fit in? Transporters, synaptic proteins, all that fun stuff. You have all of that available to you, okay? Or if you went to schizophrenia, for instance, here you could pick between the control and the schizophrenic um, patient, right? And then again, you pick your gene category. Where is it marking? Vascular oligodendrocytes, myelination, where it's schizophrenic candidates for disease, all of these different things that you can pick from. I don't really care which one you pick. Um, it doesn't really matter for what you're doing. You're just kind of finding something that seems interesting to you. Okay? Um, so I'm just gonna go to gene search just for speed. And I'll go to an anion channel, okay? And I'll just do that. Um, so now all of a sudden I have all these images that pop up down here. And these are basically brain tissue slices from lots of different people who passed away and they treated their brain tissue um, for these different markers. So I can pick on any one of them, okay? It's gonna take me to this window here and um, what we have here, as you can see, is a tissue that's pretty zoomed out. It gives you the location of where that tissue is in the brain in the upper left-hand side here. Um, gives you some more information. This is temporal cortex, right? Uh, control, non-smoker, okay, female, left hemisphere, okay, all that stuff. Um, and they put in a marker for CLCN2. You can see the check mark there. And see the names up in the symbol here too. That's a chloride channel, which is voltage sensitive. Um, so kind of like our voltage sensitive sodium and potassium and calcium channels we've been talking about, it's a chloride sensitive voltage channel. So you want to take an image here, screenshot it, upload into your Google Doc, and then you're going to zoom in to where you can actually see individual tissue being stained. Um, so if you look, keep zooming in closer and closer, you can actually see individual cells that are going to get marked for this chloride channel um, that they're expressing the gene for that. So you can just keep zooming in and zooming in some more and you'll see all the little markers for it. Okay, some of these are smears. So this wasn't necessarily a great stain, but it's pretty impressive that they did that whole piece of tissue. The one on the right is a reference image. That just means that that's kind of control. Um, so once you've picked your your gene, you will, your gene, you get a nice close-up image where you can see it in maybe a couple different cells. So if I kind of keep going further and further, so you can see it definitely marked down here in black down there. Um, then snap another screenshot of it, okay? Uh, once you have that screenshot, you'll upload that into your Google Doc, and then there's some questions to answer. And once you do a little bit of search about what that gene's for. Um, again, don't copy mine, pick something else, but figure out what is that gene involved in? Like, why is it theorized? If you picked a disease, what's it doing there? Um, and then you're gonna search out one abstract on PubMed. So again, um, just kind of looking there, I don't need the full article, just link to the abstract. So hopefully those instructions are pretty good. Um, if they're not, please don't hesitate to reach out and get any clarity with what you're doing with this whole thing.